Yellowstone, a paradox of beauty and power. Yellowstone National Park, a realm of pristine beauty with lush forests, crystal clear lakes and dramatic geysers, a haven for wildlife. This natural wonderland spans over 2.2 million acres encompassing a diverse range of ecosystems and geological features. From the dense forests teeming with life to the serene lakes that mirror the sky, Yellowstone is a sanctuary for both flora and fauna. The park is home to hundreds of species of mammals, birds, fish, and reptiles, making it a living tapestry of biodiversity. But beneath this serene facade lies a sleeping giant, a supervolcano of immense power, capable of unleashing unimaginable destruction. This colossal volcano, known as the Yellowstone Caldera, is one of the largest active volcanic systems in the world. Its magma chamber, a vast reservoir of molten rock, lies just a few miles beneath the surface, a constant reminder of the volatile forces at play. Its eruptions, though rare, are events of global significance. The last major eruption occurred approximately 640,000 years ago, spewing vast amounts of ash and lava into the atmosphere. Such an event would have catastrophic consequences affecting climate, agriculture, and life on a global scale. The ash cloud from a supervolcanic eruption could block sunlight, leading to a volcanic winter and drastically altering weather patterns. They are a stark reminder of the immense forces that shape our planet. These forces, though often hidden from view, are constantly at work, molding the Earth's surface and influencing its climate. The tectonic activity beneath Yellowstone is a testament to the dynamic nature of our planet, where the crust is in a perpetual state of flux. Yellowstone's beauty is captivating, drawing millions of visitors each year. People from all corners of the globe come to experience its wonders, from the majestic waterfalls to the sprawling meadows. The park offers a myriad of recreational activities, including hiking, camping, and wildlife watching, providing a unique opportunity to connect with nature. They come to witness the spectacle of Old Faithful, one of the most famous geysers in the world. Old Faithful's eruptions are a marvel of nature, occurring with remarkable regularity and shooting boiling water high into the air. This natural phenomenon is a symbol of the geothermal activity that lies beneath the park, the vibrant colors of the Grand Prismatic Spring, and the abundant wildlife. The Grand Prismatic Spring, with its striking hues of blue, green, and orange, is the largest hot spring in the United States and the third largest in the world. Its vivid colors are caused by microbial mats that thrive in the hot, mineral-rich waters, creating a stunning visual display. Yet beneath their feet lies a fiery underworld, a testament to the Earth's raw power. The geothermal features of Yellowstone, including its geysers, hot springs, and fumaroles, are fueled by the heat from the underlying magma chamber. This subterranean heat source is a constant reminder of the park's volcanic origins and the potential for future eruptions. It is a paradox of nature, beauty, and terror intertwined. The same forces that create the park's breathtaking landscapes also have the power to destroy them. This duality is a fundamental aspect of Yellowstone's character where the serene and the violent coexist in a delicate balance. The park sits atop a massive caldera, a scar left behind by previous eruptions. This caldera, measuring approximately 30 by 45 miles, is a visible reminder of the park's tumultuous past. The landscape within the caldera is marked by geothermal features and rugged terrain shaped by the forces of volcanic activity. These eruptions, spaced thousands of years apart, have reshaped the landscape and left their mark on the planet's history. The layers of ash and lava deposited by these eruptions have created a unique geological record, providing scientists with valuable insights into the Earth's volcanic activity and its impact on the environment. The evidence is etched into the very rock, a silent testament to the volcano's power. The rock formations within Yellowstone bear the scars of past eruptions, with layers of volcanic ash and lava flows telling a story of immense geological upheaval. These formations are a window into the park's ancient history, revealing the powerful forces that have shaped its landscape. It is a sobering reminder that the Earth is a dynamic and ever-changing system. The geological processes that drive volcanic activity are ongoing, constantly reshaping the planet's surface. This dynamic nature is a key aspect of Yellowstone's identity, where change is a constant and the landscape is in a perpetual state of transformation. Yellowstone's beauty is fleeting, a temporary respite in the face of geological time. The park's stunning landscapes, while seemingly timeless, are subject to the relentless forces of nature. Over the millennia, the landscape has undergone dramatic changes from volcanic eruptions to glacial movements, each leaving its mark on the park's terrain. 
The volcano's slumber is not eternal. While it may be dormant now, the potential for future eruptions remains. Scientists closely monitor the park's geothermal activity looking for signs of an impending eruption. This vigilance is crucial as an eruption could have far-reaching consequences affecting not only the park but the entire planet. One day, it will awaken again, reshaping the landscape and impacting the world as we know it. The next eruption, whenever it occurs, will be a transformative event, altering the park's topography and potentially triggering a chain of environmental changes. The impact of such an event would be felt far beyond the boundaries of Yellowstone, highlighting the interconnectedness of our planet's systems. Understanding this powerful force is crucial, not only for scientific curiosity but for the survival of our species. Researchers study Yellowstone's geothermal features and volcanic activity to gain insights into the mechanisms driving these processes. This knowledge is essential for predicting future eruptions and mitigating their impact, ensuring that we are better prepared to face the challenges posed by one of nature's most formidable forces. Beneath the surface the science of supervolcanoes. Volcanoes, mountains of fire and fury, windows into the Earth's molten heart. But supervolcanoes are different, they are not towering peaks but vast depressions often hidden within seemingly tranquil landscapes. Their eruptions are not measured in cubic meters but in cubic kilometers. Supervolcanoes are defined not by their size but by their explosive power. They erupt with a force thousands of times greater than ordinary volcanoes. Their eruptions are not mere geological events, they are global catastrophes. Ash and gas spew into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun and plunging the world into darkness. These eruptions are driven by immense pressure building up deep within the Earth's crust. Molten rock, known as magma, rises from the mantle, creating vast chambers beneath the surface. As the pressure increases the magma seeks a way out, eventually breaching the surface in a cataclysmic eruption. The science of supervolcanoes is a relatively new field. Only in recent decades have we begun to understand the true scale and power of these geological giants. With each discovery, we gain a greater appreciation for the delicate balance of forces that shape our planet. Yellowstone's history is a tale of fire and ice. Over millions of years the supervolcano has erupted multiple times, each eruption shaping the landscape and leaving its mark on the geological record. These eruptions, though separated by vast stretches of time, paint a picture of a restless giant slumbering beneath the surface. The first major eruption occurred 2.1 million years ago. It ejected an estimated 2,500 cubic kilometers of material, blanketing much of North America in ash. The eruption created the Huckleberry Ridge Tuff, a vast expanse of volcanic rock that bears witness to the event's sheer scale. The second major eruption, 1.3 million years ago, was smaller but still significant. It created the Mesa Falls Tuff and further reshaped the Yellowstone Caldera. The third and most recent major eruption, 640,000 years ago, formed the Yellowstone Caldera as we know it today. These eruptions are a stark reminder that Yellowstone is not extinct, merely dormant. The volcano continues to show signs of activity, with geysers, hot springs, and ground deformation serving as constant reminders of the immense heat and pressure building up beneath the surface. Section 4. The Magma Chamber, a cauldron of molten rock. Deep beneath Yellowstone National Park a slumbering giant stirs. A vast reservoir of molten rock known as the magma chamber fuels the park's geothermal wonders and serves as a constant reminder of the immense power that lies beneath the surface. It is a cauldron of unimaginable heat and pressure, a key to understanding the volcano's past and future. The magma chamber is not a single hollow cavity, but a complex system of interconnected chambers and conduits. It extends for miles beneath the park, holding a vast volume of molten and semi-molten rock. The exact size and shape of the chamber are still being studied but its sheer scale is staggering. Seismic waves generated by earthquakes and carefully monitored by scientists provide a glimpse into the magma chamber's structure. These waves travel at different speeds through different materials, allowing scientists to create images of the subsurface. It's like using sonar to map the ocean floor, only in this case, we are mapping the Earth's molten heart. The magma chamber is constantly evolving, with new magma rising from the mantle and mixing with the existing reservoir. This process is what drives the park's geothermal activity, heating groundwater and creating the geysers and hot springs that make Yellowstone so unique. Section 5 When Yellowstone Erupts, Predicting the Unpredictable 
The question that haunts scientists and the public alike is, when will Yellowstone erupt again? The answer, as with most things in nature, is complex and uncertain. Predicting volcanic eruptions is a notoriously difficult task, even with sophisticated monitoring techniques. Too many variables are at play, making precise predictions impossible. Scientists rely on a variety of methods to monitor Yellowstone's activity. Seismometers track earthquakes which can indicate magma movement. GPS stations measure ground deformation, subtle rises and falls in the Earth's surface caused by pressure changes below. Gas emissions such as sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide are also carefully monitored. While these methods provide valuable insights into the volcano's behavior, they cannot predict the exact timing or magnitude of an eruption. Yellowstone's past eruptions provide some clues, but the intervals between them have been highly irregular. The volcano operates on its own geological timescale, one that is difficult for humans to comprehend. Despite the uncertainties, scientists agree that a major eruption at Yellowstone is not imminent, the volcano is currently considered dormant, and the chances of a catastrophic eruption in our lifetime are extremely low. However, the potential impact of such an event is so significant that monitoring and research efforts continue with utmost importance. If you found this video informative, please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up. Your support helps us bring you more fascinating content.